Are you that person who leaps at the opportunity to take a free class or scour YouTube looking for instructional videos on obscure topics? When you find that interesting new skill, do you deep dive and binge watch every video, listen to every podcast, and check out every book in the library? Have you ever felt regret for dropping a pursuit of learning that you explored in community college, but now you would love to try again, but you don't know where or how to resume? Have you ever marveled at a person's ability to rebuild a carburetor, identify North American waterfowl, or craft an origami sculpture? If so, then this is the podcast for you. I am Paul, the Polymath, and this is CAST, Knowledge Acquirements, Skills, and Theory of Learning. Welcome skills collectors, knowledge adventurers, trivia ninjas, dabblers, and masters of their domain. This podcast is for those rare people who are not just curious about how things are made, but want to make those things themselves. The person who can passively converse on most any topic and who love memory games, metacognition, and the occasional single event learning experience. I am here today to talk to you about the importance of practicing a skill. Whether it's a new language, a musical instrument, or a sport, the key to mastery is practice. We all have something that we always wanted to learn, but maybe we have been too intimidated, too busy to start. But let me tell you, it's never too late to start. And the great news is, the more you practice, the easier it will become, and the more you will enjoy it. Think about it this way. If you want to become a great chef, you wouldn't expect to become an expert overnight. It takes time, patience, and practice to master the art of cooking. The same is true for any skill. In his book, Outliers, Malcolm Gladwell brings to our attention the 10,000 hour rule. This is the average amount of time that it takes a human to reasonably master a skill. The interesting idea that I would like to add to this is that to become passably good is much less than that number. Becoming passably good at a musical instrument, for example, many people with careful and purposeful practice can achieve passability in less than half that time. But how does 10,000 hours break down? Let's pretend that you are able to reliably commit two hours of practice to a skill per day for five days a week. This will get you to 520 hours of practice in a year. If you seek private instruction on top of that, that amount of practice, you can achieve passable skill levels within three years and mastery within 20 years. The reason that artists go to college to get a degree is because that they are getting to hone their craft for typically 30 hours a week for four years, bringing them up to a quality 6,340 hours of practice in their subject area over a relatively short period of time. Add this to the several thousand hours of practice it took them to get to the college, and you have 10,000 hours. How beneficial is practice to overall mastery? In his book, Bounce, The Myth of Talent and the Power of Practice, Matthew Saeed writes that the vast majority of research indicates that genetics is not as important as we once thought, and that it is indeed practice that brings skill, competence, and a high level of performance. First, let me point out that practicing is not just repetition. Although repetition is necessary for the myelination of neural pathways, instead practicing is purposeful, goal-driven, and attentive. See my episode on smart goal writing in order to enhance the outcomes from your practice sessions. Practicing a skill also helps to reduce stress and increase happiness. Through practice, we gain access to a state called flow. Hungarian psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi coined the term flow state. Flow state is a mental state of complete immersion into an activity while you are intense and fully creative. When we achieve flow, our mind is able to focus on a single task. A growing body of research points to the flow state improving self-esteem and well-being. Practicing a skill helps us to keep our mind sharp and improve memory. When we learn something new, we are strengthening connections in our brain. We are myelinating new pathways and creating new connections. And new research, contrary to the beliefs of 50 years ago, indicates we are generating new neurons and nerve tissue. I encourage you to take time and start practicing today. It may be difficult at first, but I promise you that with persistence and dedication, you will see improvements and will feel a sense of accomplishment. So don't wait any longer. Start practicing. Go unleash your full potential. 
please subscribe and leave a review and share this podcast with your friends and family if you enjoyed it. If you're a teacher, these podcasts, although vocabulary rich, are intended for learners, so please share with your students as well. Again, dedicate just 15 minutes each day to practicing to build up that number of hours over time. You'll be on your way to reaching your goals. If you would like to share how practice helps you, or perhaps you just have a technique that you have invented, please email me your story at paulthepolymath at gmail.com. Please use the word practice in the subject line. I might ask you to join me for a follow-up interview on the show. 